Hey everybody, um, so whew, it is May 26th, it's Memorial Day, um, it smells like barbecue everywhere <laughs> and it's beautiful outside, it's sunny, I went outside to get a watermelon, which actually, let me show you, you see all that watermelon, um, yeah, uh, I'm doing a watermelon fast, so I don't know, um, I got all itchy right now and I don't know if it's the watermelon or what it is, it's just like, oh, I never know. But anyway, um, this is how I look like right now and it kind of sucks because, uh, first of all, the camera makes it look redder, just so you know. But also, I look so much better this morning and then I just got itchy and I tried not to scratch it, but I did a little bit and then it, uh, you know, it kind of got all red like that. Still have a little bit of um, edema, I'm a little swollen, but not as much as I have been. Actually, the other day, my uh, my swelling went away completely and no was like, my husband was like, oh my god, you lost some weight and stuff like that. You look all bony in your face. I'm like, no, you, you just got used to me being freaking swollen. But I actually um, gained weight because the last month and something, I wasn't exercising because the sweating isn't the best for the eczema and uh, um, I would just like run home from work to be home and uh, was eating although I was eating clean I still was eating a lot and not moving so of course I gained weight and uh, I'm not very excited about that so it's like a, yet another side effect of this whole thing but um, uh, I am uh, gonna lose it I'm pretty uh, cool with that. It's gonna I'm gonna lose it fast again and get into all the summer clothes uh, But yeah, I started the watermelon fast not only because of uh, trying to lose a few pounds that I gained But I also wanted to just like clean myself out except if I find out that I'm allergic to watermelon <laughs> That's uh, probably not the route to go Anyway, I have been uh, uh, lately still like trying to figure this thing out. Uh, I was um, again thinking about the cortisone withdrawal thing because uh, my friend oh, kept like trying to tell me that that's what I'm really going through and then um, I got uh, an email from a girl from Itsan uh, which is a, an organization that you know it's like a forum and uh, I don't know if they're a charity I think they're a non-profit non-profit uh, non organization uh, uh, for you know, to make people aware of the whole uh, cortisone-induced eczema. And uh, so this girl wrote me and she's like, I saw your videos, you're going through cortisone withdrawal uh, because she said you look like I did before. And uh, maybe she's right. And I kind of hope in a way, I'm like scared what's uh, in front of me, you know, because the people when they go through the cortisone withdrawal, it's like a long process and it's terrible. Uh, I'm always crying when I see their pictures because they go through so much uh, but then they completely clear out of eczema so I keep thinking I have hope like if this is uh, cortisone induced eczema and I'll go through hell for a few months it's gonna be terrible and also I have been already going through quite uh, a bit uh, but it's gonna be terrible but then I'm gonna come out as a normal person like Hello, that's perfect because before when I wasn't sure what it is, when you're not sure what it is, you keep like thinking, what did I eat, What? where did I go, like who did I uh, cuddle with, meaning cats or something, you know, stuff like that and you just can't figure it out and um, it's just so much harder than be like, okay, this is cortisone withdrawal stuff, I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna have terrible symptoms for a while but it's, you know, I'm gonna get rid of it because it's gonna get out of my system. So, I don't know, um, I'm still trying to figure, this is like every day, it's like something else, but, and I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys, but I'm just documenting my journey, so you guys know, you know, uh, what's going on, but yeah, I'm kind of excited, I'm not as swollen anymore, but, oh, these red spots, I already looked, they were not there, a couple minutes ago, I don't know if I, so by the way, also, uh, last Monday, my allergy, uh, allergy, person other I can't think of how you say it in English whatever the guy that like checks on your allergies allergologist ha. he uh, called me with my uh, blood test results and he said that I'm highly allergic to cats which I have had 
them for a while now. Um, and uh, so I was thinking maybe, okay, uh, I'll try it. I'm trying it only for a month and then I, you know, I want her back, but she's at my friend's and on Saturday I cleaned for 12 hours. I know I should have gotten someone else to clean because it's the worst thing to be me being uh, allergic to dust mites and cat dander to be cleaning that stuff, but you know, I had to because I don't have anyone else to help me. So I was cleaning for 12 hours, but I still think I cleaned the couch like crazy. I like scrub it with like a, a brush and everything, but I was sitting on it like a long for a long time today because I was doing stuff in the living room and then I got all itchy but I was eating the watermelon while I was doing that so it's either the couch still or the watermelon I don't know anyway I hope you guys are doing better um, also with cream I haven't been using any cream uh, unless I'm like in pain I put Vaseline on uh, which I'm not excited about because of the petroleum jelly but it's the only thing that doesn't bother me uh, another thing though is I've been having this hello focus whatever this little spot you guys can see it um, so I got this recently and I've been putting aloe on it I bought an aloe vera leaf and uh, it seems to be working so maybe I'll be adventurous enough and put it on my arms uh, and uh, if I see that it's not really bothering me I might try face <laughs> oh, scared but okay uh, anyway uh, this is also my arm uh, the difference between a normal eczema eczematic and the cortisone withdrawal um, you know symptoms or the cortisone uh, induced eczema is that I'm um, oh, sorry like or garden okay uh, it's just like so beautiful right now because of the sunlight and the birdies and they're so excited and my turtles are in the pond and everything is good in the world um but anyway uh so hey what was i saying <laughs> see i have really low memory these days because i can't sleep much um Oh, yeah, so the difference is, sorry, uh, the difference is that uh, the cortisone one is you're red, like this, and you're burning up, like you, you're, it's burning, it's like itchy, but it's also burning, and eczema is just kind of itchy, it's not like, it, I remember as a kid, like, I had hot, it was warm when I touched it, uh, but it wasn't like this, so maybe I am going through a uh, cortisone withdrawal, because I was never... This is already a little different, but a few days ago I had like these longer, like these red patches that were like crazy um, and it didn't look like eczema to me anymore. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going through still. I thought I figured it out, didn't. Uh, hope you are doing well. Many kisses to you and please uh, write me any comments, any questions that I could possibly answer. <laughs> okay, have a nice night, day, evening, or whatever you're having, and I hope you had a f good Memorial Day. Although, it seems weird to me because it's like you're supposed to uh, remember the people that died in war, right? If I got it right after nine years of living here in America. And it's weird to me that people get drunk and like do barbecue, because it's kind of... Uh, it seems disrespectful to me, but... Anyway, hope you had a nice one. Okay, bye.